that's not bad. I think it works. I think it works. Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampies. Yes, in this video I'm going to show you how to lighten your underarms or get rid of dark armpits in three days, just three days, a method that really works in three days using ingredients that you already have at home. This is a major problem, especially for people, I think, uh, women of color. I have had this for a very long time. It's very embarrassing, especially during the summer. If you want to go out, put on open things and go to a party, you're just very shy to kind of lift your arms or uh, just weird. Yeah, stay tuned, watch until the end and let's see how this works. It's weird because I'm doing this in the bedroom. I should be in the bathroom but Ali's not at home so I thought I can do it in the bedroom anyway if he's not at home. We need a lemon, a tablespoon of honey and then we have baking soda and of course turmeric. I think for all lightening recipes or remedies you always find turmeric. However, there's another ingredient to this recipe which is the game changer. This should be the thing that fasten that uh, normal home remedy to just three days and that is heavy cream. Now let's see. Please watch until the end because I have I have to try this for three days and I'll be just taking you through the process and show you if it really works. So this is turmeric and baking uh, soda. And then I have here honey. So I am using a tablespoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of honey and then lemon and of course about half a cup no a quarter of a cup heavy cream I really have to be careful if I mess this up it's going to be problematic because I have everything here is white squeezing the lemon heavy cream just I find it very runny no oh, maybe it's fine let me show you how my underarms look like at the moment I have really especially on this side and for this video I only want to follow I only want to do one side because I really want to see if it works and check the other side and compare if you have gloves I'll suggest that you use gloves because the color of um, turmeric is quite intense and it it's very difficult to get rid of, especially it might just discolor your nails and it take a little bit of time to get rid of that, maybe three to four days. What I saw in one video, the lady just took a lemon like that, cut in half, and then just kind of uh, apply all that lemon juice under arm. Uh, and I've tried, I've been really trying to get rid of this for a very long time, and I think I have already, my situation has improved, but. You know, I want to see how, if I can do this in three days, I'll be very happy. I'm so done. Why didn't I start on the left hand side first? Take that with the back of a spoon. Yes. Ah, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. A little too much, so. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. 15 minutes and let's see now let, let's see this should work also the first day and this has been 15 minutes everything's kind of just dried up I did move a bit so maybe if it didn't work it's my no it should just work you didn't say I shouldn't it shouldn't move sure small hand towel in red just because I know the turmeric will really mess it up and some warm water in a, in a container here and I'll just go ahead and wipe it with this 
and see the magic. Okay, let's see. I actually feel like it is, <laughs> weirdly I feel like it is actually working, but I don't want to conclude yet, I'll wait for <laughs> tomorrow and the day after and see what we have after three, three days. Apart from my armpit is now really smelling turmeric, I'm going to show. So it's day two of our armpit clearing or anti hypopigmentation underarms recipe. Three days. It takes three days to get this done. This is our stuff that I made yesterday. Still going to do the same method as I did yesterday. Apply the lemon first. I've got gloves today, so it should be even simpler. I think this is messier than not. Just excuse the noise in the background. Ali is making pizza for dinner. Super. Can he says? White chocolate. Yeah, it's Kennedy from Amsterdam. Genieße es, Schatz. Keine Lust, ich habe keine Lust. Oder ich habe letztes Mal zu viel gehabt, dass ich nicht mehr... Okay. So, whole arm covered, under arm covered. I've set the timer at 15 minutes. Then I'm just going to keep my arm like this in the next 15 minutes until everything is done. Two things that I've noticed today, I would absolutely say it's easier to apply with gloves than using the back of a spoon. Then the other thing is that don't try to do this like on the day that you have just shaved or use any hair removal method because I think the acidity of that lemon juice is really going to burn your skin. In the meantime, I'll be reading this. It's one of my favorite books. It's like thousand, you know, like thousand natural remedies. And I wanted to see if the, if I can find something similar for hyperpigmentation or against hyperpigmentation. I actually really look crazy, but I have to keep my arm like this. So I'm just gonna keep myself like this. It's easier than giving the arm in the in the air. So I'm just 15 minutes should go by very fast. Yeah, you wanna take a picture? What? Of what? Of pizza. Here you go, 15 minutes over. That's how everything, it's kind of just, maybe it's absorbed by the skin. So yesterday I'm going to take this. It's just a bucket with warm water and a cloth. I would suggest that after you wipe this off, just go take a shower. I don't think the cloth is enough to clean it. You're probably going to have a uh, a little bit of uh, turmeric residues <laughs> under your arms for a while <laughs> until your next show. So I'm clean. Day two. Doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I would say it does not look bad at all. So day two. And we have to wait for day three. Day three, I just came back from a four kilometer run and I wanted to try, you know, Further on my day three um, anti-pigmentation recipe before I go shower. Now, let me show you how it looks like. This is after two sessions of applying the remedy that I've been sharing since the beginning. It doesn't look bad, but let's go ahead and try the third session and come back and share with you my overall results. We have everything here left over. Start. You want to make sure that the whole armpit is soaked. We take our mixture. Oh, yes. Oh, it's actually burning. I don't know why. Ow. Ow. It's red. I don't know why. Ah, oh, yeah. My pores are probably way too open. It's burning. Ah. Okay, maybe don't do this after exercising. Yeah, whole armpit all covered. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. 
I set the timer to 15 minutes and we're going to wait. Time is up. That was 15 minutes. <clears throat> you know, I look like after 15 minutes, just ignore this yellow things. I think I just like this pot, like uh, residues of a lemon. And then like eventually the turmeric changed from yellow to a more reddish color. Let's go ahead, a cloth and some warm water and wipe this. What do you think? What do you think? Let me just try to come closer. I don't know if the camera can zoom in. And of day three, what do you think? I honestly think the result is not bad. I'm just not sure if I really see an improvement. But it's not bad. I think it works. I think it works. Like overall review on this thing, on this remedy. I would say for everything that I've seen on YouTube, like if you want to reduce excessive pigmentation under arm, um, like most of the video shows one treatment and very few videos show like three treatments. And I would say for three treatments, I wouldn't say I'm happy with the results. I went on and did a little bit more research. There's also a section for if you want to fade dark spots. It says here, you can use lemon juice. So lemon juice is already known that it has some very potent bleaching characteristics. The thing is, the thing is, and this is why I'm not happy with this result is, it's also written here, lemon is a powerful bleaching agent. However, you should expect to see a difference somewhere within three months. So I definitely don't think it works within three days. Or I don't even think it works after one treatment. So this is what I found here. And then online, I also did some research. I found something that says, yeah, lemon has some bleaching impact or characteristics it's just that that reaction or whatever happens it is not a permanent change i personally think when you first just take it off it feel like you really there is a bit of a difference you can see this ambit is lighter than before but when you look at it the following day you don't see that uh significant difference i would say it's more like a reaction of if you go somewhere where you do like all this clay mask, full body clay mask and you, or you stay under the water for a long time, your skin just kind of look a little bit pale. But after three or four hours or 12 hours, you go back to your normal pigmentation. That's how I feel about it. If you want to say, I'm just going to show you the other arm. This is the arm that I didn't touch at all. And you can see it's not so pigmented. And I know this is something is an improvement that is permanent and that I have achieved over, not overnight. And I know it works. However, this is not an overnight thing. That's why this arm, I didn't treat it. I really wanted to share with you that this, on this arm, I only use the method that I've been, I think it works for me and it seems to be very permanent. It's just not as instant as what is advertised on YouTube with the lemon and turmeric remedy. If you want to see this and how I achieve this, Stay tuned and watch the next video. I guarantee you something permanently going to change your life and your hyperpigmentation around underarms. But you need patience. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.